Now we're going to work through um, two application problems. So this first one says two airports are 52 miles apart on a north-south line. The south airport sees a plane at a bearing of north 34 degrees west. The north airport sees the same plane at a bearing of south 56 degrees west. How far is the plane from the north airport? Okay, so let's draw what's going on here. If this is our north-south line, we're told that we have two airports, so this would be the north airport, and this would be the south airport. And we're told that they're 52 miles apart. Now, we're told that the south airport sees a plane at a bearing of north, so we'd think of starting north and rotating 34 degrees west. Okay, so we see a plane there. The north airport seems the same plane at a bearing of south 56 degrees west. So we're told this is 56 degrees. How far is the plane from the north airport? So we're looking for that value there. Now the first thing we can do is find out what this angle is and if on our calculator we do 180 minus 56 minus 34 we see that that's actually a right angle so this is actually a right triangle so drawn a little more appropriately this would be 56 degrees this would be 34 degrees and this is X and we know that this is 52. So 52 is actually our hypotenuse. Now what we can do is we can pick either the 56 degrees or the 34. Let's go ahead and use the 34 degrees. Okay. Now the X is the opposite side compared to the 34 and then we know the 52 is the hypotenuse. So we want to think with Soka Toa. Which one uses opposite and hypotenuse? Well, that would be sine. So we're going to set up the equation sine of 34 degrees equals x over 52. And now solving for x isn't so hard. We're going to multiply both sides by 52. So 52 times sine of 34 equals x. So we can do that on our calculator. Make sure your calculator is in degrees, so 52 sine of 34 degrees. So we see that x was about 29.1 miles. Okay, let's look at another one. So it says from a hot air balloon one kilometer high, the angles of depression of two small towns due west of the balloon are 81 degrees and 13 degrees. How far apart are the two towns? Okay, so let's go ahead and um, draw the situation. So we've got a balloon. Right, not great at drawing hot air balloons. We know that it's one kilometer high. Okay, and we've got two towns. So um, think of the, the balloon looking straight ahead. So the first angle of depression, 81 degrees, or this would be 81 degrees. So this would be town one. And then the other one is only 13 degrees. So this whole thing is 81. Um, this one is 13. And we're looking for how far apart they are. We're looking for this distance. Now we might actually have to solve a little bit more to do this. First we should mention that the way we're measuring this, this is a right angle. Okay, so we've got two triangles here. 
Um, we can think about the triangle down from the balloon into town one. Okay, so let's label this Y. We know this is one kilometer. Now, we're, we're actually looking at this triangle right here. And if the angle of depression was 81 degrees, and this whole thing makes a right angle, that this angle right here has to be nine degrees. Okay, so we can use the nine degrees and set up an equation to find y. So we can say this would be opposite and adjacent, so tangent of nine degrees equals y over one kilometer. So we can multiply both sides by one. We'd say y is equal to tangent of nine degrees. So we see that that's 0.16 kilometers. Now we need to look at kind of the big triangle. Let's, I'll highlight it. So this big triangle, well this down here would be x plus y. This is still one kilometer. And this angle of, well it was an angle of depression of 13 degrees, so this angle in the triangle would be 90 minus 13. Which is 77, so this is 77 degrees. So we can set up another tangent equation that tangent of 77 equals x plus y over one kilometer. So x plus y is going to be tangent of 77, which is 4.3 kilometers, or 4.33. So we know this whole thing is 4.33 kilometers. Now we were trying to find the distance between them. So this x is going to be 4.33 minus the 0.16. So we see the distance between the towns is 4. 0.17 kilometers. So let's just, the distance between the two towns is 4.17 kilometers. Okay, so these were just two examples of how we can use the trigonometry to solve problems.